What's up, everybody? It's Brandon from Box Office Banner and Cult Flick Symposium, and I'm here to talk some more Evil Dead. Now, we just talked about the first one yesterday, and I'm going to continue to talk about this building up to the release of Evil Dead Rise, the fifth installment in this Evil Dead franchise. Finally coming at us. It's been how long? Shit. Since Evil Dead, not the Evil Dead, not the first one, obviously, but the fourth one that uh, Fede Alvarez made. That's been about 10 years now, so we're kind of overdue, especially with the way they're pushing out all these old horror movies now. We got Scream, Halloween, stuff like that. Even there's a recent Candyman. They're kind of really shoving these down our throat again. So I'm actually surprised it took about 10 years, but more than ready for it. Anyways, guys, what do I think about Evil Dead 2? I'm just going to come clean. We've done this before. We've done the whole franchise, as in one through four, obviously, because five isn't out yet. When I had the whole crew here, we did a whole franchise breakdown. You can also check out that somewhere in this YouTube channel. Shouldn't be hard to search up. So if you know that, then you know my thoughts on this. This is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. While the first one is scarier, and I give it credit for that, this is what we come to the Evil Dead franchise for is what this movie started. It is Ash dialed up to 11. And this is where he became a complete icon and changed the world of horror forever and really made this a staple. You know, like I could see the original being like that. You know, not that it wouldn't be a classic, but it would be a classic in terms of like, it'd be like a more, I think, deep cut type of horror movie like if you were a, a true to the wool horror fan you knew about it and you wanted to show you know your friends that you know like oh I've seen a few Freddy movies I've seen a few Michael Myers movies like that kind of friend and you're like oh I watch every new paranormal movie that comes out but isn't deeply entrenched and grained in horror I think it would be that type of movie you pull it's like you ain't seen shit yet you haven't seen the original Evil Dead you're like no no I haven't I think it would be a classic on that level, but not what it is today if it wasn't for this one, putting a stamp and really making Evil Dead what it truly is. Because as much as much as it was relentless in the first one, this one dials it up even another notch somehow. I mean, this is, it's like as soon as you have a second to breathe, and my bad if I'm breathing heavy people, I just got done with the workout not that long ago, and I am just, <laughs> but I need to get this review done, so hopefully that doesn't stand out too much. But this movie just it doesn't it doesn't give you one second to breathe you legitimately just when you're like okay let's take a deep breath. oh my god now that's happening that's legitimately what you feel like it's as soon as you go to take that breath oh shit now the corpse is coming to life and oh he's gonna cut this fucking head open he's got the head out you know i'm talking about the scene with the head of the barn and it's like the chainsaw and then the fucking corpse comes in with the chainsaw and then like the room's coming to life and there's the infamous laugh out loud scene god laugh out loud was there ever a better time of laughing out loud because that is one of my favorite scenes in fucking cinema history when he sees the fucking deer looking over like <laughs> and then like the fucking lamp starts laughing and leaning forward and going backwards leaning forward going backwards and the books start laughing and he's just like ah and you see that iconic first shot of the blood all over his face and he's just losing it he's like doing this like up and down type thing and it gets broken up by him just boom double barrel boomstick i should say come on brandon this franchise to the door because somebody knocks on it or whatever like it's just that scene is perfection so many iconic moments like that and if I have one gripe in this movie I feel like that's something I've noticed more I've watched it I almost prefer if Ash was like alone the whole time other than like his you know the love of his life in the beginning they're going to this cabin but adding in other people I guess gives the bigger body count but full-on you know isolation not like quite like fucking, you know, Ryan Reynolds and buried isolation where you just see one room and it's compacted the whole time. But like just full on isolation, this guy versus the woods and everything that entails inside this cabin might have been a little bit better for me somehow. Because I feel like when I'm watching him just go through the fucking ringer in there before the people come along and like the older guy with the overalls like Bobby Joe's fucking annoying the shit out of me the whole way I do have a funner time or a more fun time for sure I think when it's just ash in there so if I had one complaint maybe that would be it but you know is what it is it's still not 
taking away anything away from my score, obviously, since it's one of my favorite horror movies ever. Um, and like I said, dude, the relentlessness. And can we just talk about Ash as a character for a little bit? It's not just the fact that we know he's fucking amazing, but like, why is he amazing? It's because of his physical acting. Like, not his physical acting, like, you know, the way he enunciates sounds, like, to be or not to be. <laughs> not that type of shit. But, like, almost really even physical comedy. It really, I brought up the name Jim Carrey, you know, in the first movie. When I did the review of the first one, I can do that again here. Because it's really almost, like, Jim Carrey-esque in terms of, you know, that just body movements. The way he just contorts <laughs> around and just on a... You know, just like the perfect timing on a dime, just the way he squirms and freaks out and is like beating himself up with plates, the way he uses the fucking hand and it's dragging him over. And then he's got to like, oh, I got you. And he's like going fucking absolutely bad shit insane to the point you feel like while you're on this adrenaline inducing fun, but also what the fuck ride that you were also going crazy with him. Am I the only one that feels this way? Because there's times, there legitimately is when I'm watching this movie, where in my psyche, I'm almost just like, I feel my inner Ash Williams like coming out, where I'm like, you know, like I've almost felt like that. Like not quite that, people. I'm not a fucking psychopath. You know what? I'm not even going to put that on Ash. Neither is Ash. It's a cause of a situation, but that's the point. Sometimes situations get the best of us, and sometimes all you can do is laugh and go fucking crazy. Like, oh, I put a fucking hand... That little, but you let that take hold and you get Ash Williams' performance and he just fucking too cool for school, dives right into that, buttons it up, goes to fucking work, and who the fuck could have played Ash better? Seriously. Like, we talk about, like, all-time performances and, like, horror always gets left out, you know? And you're not going to think about all-time performance in, like, an Evil Dead movie. Admittedly, that's cool. But when we think of even something that, like, Obviously not all-time performance. You don't think of Wolverine, but you know everybody's like, Hugh Jackman plays Wolverine. Who else can play him? That type of performance. Who else can play Ash Williams like Bruce Campbell does, dude? I mean, seriously. That's just a big reason why I don't think they've even bothered or even dared to try to replicate it when Fide Alvarez brought 2013's Evil Dead. And now this one, they're completely taking it away to like the city. We're not even in a fucking cabin anymore which obviously we weren't an army of darkness either, but it's another story for another time. And I think another time will be next video, <laughs> but it's just who, who the fuck? Like if you're Fide Alvarez or you're these new people coming out with this, you know, unless you, you know, obviously Bruce Campbell's still around, you have an older Bruce Campbell, but if you're sitting there and everything's on the table, everything's laid out and you're just like, well, we got to cast another ash. Is there not a person immediately just like, Hey, yo, yo, bro. Hey, don't do that. Because it's just not going to... I mean, I'm sure we can find somebody that's like, it is, you are going to bite off way more than you can chew because nobody can Bruce Campbell like Bruce Campbell can. <laughs> Got to give him his fucking flowers, dude. And as popular as he is, not enough people know about how fucking great he is as this character. He is the ultimate final guy, if you will. And this is his tour de force. Now, you get that in the third one. I'm going to dive a little bit more, you know, into that because he becomes even more of like the Ash character. But it's almost, you know, it becomes almost too comedy driven in the third one. The second one is just that's that sweet spot, isn't it, bro? Like, that's just that is the perfect balance, a perfect storm, tour de force storm of like whimsical craziness with just sheer horror rolled up in a ball fast balled at your tv boom shakes the tv spreads across your screen evil dead 2 sprinkles over it and ash is sitting there with the boomstick saying groovy it's perfection evil dead 2 is one of my favorite horror movies of all time i'm gonna say it's a 9.4 out of 10 this is an all-timer for me you can't beat it. I can't wait to talk about Army of Darkness. I go on and on about this movie and every little detail, the way it's filmed. But again, these are ones I have already talked about. You'd listen to our thoughts, like I said, in the franchise breakdown video right here on this channel with my other guys, Rodney, Tyler, and Josh. And, you know, hear us blabber about it for like an hour and a half. But I've pretty much said what I needed to say other than Sam Raimi. Just fucking God. 
what a what a tandem they were, dude. Bruce Campbell and still are. I mean, fuck. If you think about it, Bruce Campbell is even in the latest Doctor Strange, even if it was like sh- a short scene, you know, <laughs> where he's like a hot dog salesman, I think. Something ridiculous like that. But Sam Raimi, man, the absolute truth. Bruce Campbell, the absolute truth. Everybody on the team, dude, just this is where the magic happens. Amazing fucking movie. Hard to top Evil Dead 2. We'll be back with Army of Darkness. Love y'all and love this movie.